Top gain on the Nifty then Sipla. That after reporting a rather strong set of numbers, Ekta joins us to run us through the fine print. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, yes, definitely a very good quarter which came in for Sipla this uh, this time round. So the revenue, for example, was up around 13.7%. Uh, the street was anticipating around 11% growth, so that was better than expectations. The margins were the real kicker because it came in at 26.5%, one of the highest levels in terms of margins that they've reported ever. And this compares to an estimate of around 24% and versus 26% in the previous quarter. So they improved sequentially as well. And that trickled down in the profit, which was higher than estimates, despite an outflow of 195 odd crores. Now, in terms of the geographies, US sales was very strong, $230 million, 15th consecutive quarter of a growth, and higher than estimates of $218 to $225 million. It was supported by the key drugs in their portfolio, such as Revlimid, Generic, Landriotide, as well as Albuterol, along with their base business. India grew for the third consecutive quarter in double digits. It was up around 11, 11.5% on a year-on-year -year basis. Despite international markets and API being flat on a Q1Q basis, the street liked the numbers and also with the fact that they actually reported such strong U.S. sales despite having U.S. FTA issues in their Goa as well as their indoor facility. Now, Bernstein uh, has written on the stock. They have an outperform in the target price of 1292 rupees. According to them, the margin improves, improvement sustained. The revenue gro growth was slightly above estimates. The multiples on FI25 PE basis remains at a reasonable pace and a discount to the likes of Lupin and Sun. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for that, Ekta. Well, let's uh, get in another.